Duel, directed by Riley Stearns, offers a sardonic, nihilistic comedy that shares its DNA with the staccato rhythms of Yorgos Lanthimos films, like The Lobster or Dogtooth, while offering a vision of our future that eliminates all emotional cushioning and opts for direct interest <coughs> instead. The film is set in the not-too-distant future in which the terminally ill may commission a clone to replace them so their family and friends do not have to feel the emotional loss of your death. But there is a catch. If the terminally ill make a miraculous recovery, the clone may petition for the right to stay, and the original and double must face off in a duel to the death for the right to possess your life in exactly one year. Under these circumstances, we meet Sarah, played beautifully monotone by Karen Gillan of Doctor Who fame, a woman alienated from her social circle and scared to commit to society. To avoid going over too many spoilers, I will cut to the meat of the film. Sarah is dying, she gets a clone, then she is not dying. What proceeds from that miracle diagnosis results in a dry as hell roller coaster that never seems to speed up or slow down, but consistently chugs along before slamming head first into a brick wall of a conclusion. Duel tackles the prospect of impending doom with levity and gravity. The film shows the frustrations of having your loved ones pick between you and your clone, as well as the simple joys of taking a hip hop class in what could be your final year of life. The movie's constant deadpan delivery allows for non sequiturs and comedic sequences to pop up and fade away without much thought, punctuating this morbid ride with cleverness and spontaneity that lighten up each dreary setting. The ending, however, will not be for everyone. Any film that asks the audience to imagine an allegorical futurescape has to overcome the difficult task of offering a conclusion that simultaneously surprises and satisfies. We are who we choose to be. Choose! And though Stearns admirably tries to subvert expectations, I have no doubt that many will leave Duel feeling like the rug was pulled out from under them. But that did not stop me from having a wonderful hour and a half living in this grayscale dystopia. The film doesn't climb the heights of indie cinema, but it does make for a fun romp on a weekday night, kind of like climbing a high hill. This is now the second Riley Stearns film that has tickled my funny bone without lighting the world on fire. I think with a few more features under his belt, Stearns is going to strike gold. I advise everyone to keep an eye out. Hey, thanks for watching my review. That movie sounded interesting in tone, style, feel, or plot, but you weren't quite sure yet? Here are two other movies that I think are pretty similar that you can watch right now on one of the streaming services. I put the links to them right below in the description, so check those out if you want to give it a try. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip side.